Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Anime Orange, where I build a lot of 3D metal models and show you how I do it. But if you've been watching this channel, if you're subscribed to this channel, you already know that. This video is a little bit more for the new people coming into building a 3D metal model, such as Metal Earth and Peace Cool. You see, I'm just kind of wrapping up a little bit of a Christmas break that I've given myself. I talked about it in my last 3D Metal Model News video that I was going to take a little time off thinking about working on some builds. And I got a little bit of work done, but honestly, for the past week, I've just been kind of chilling, hanging out with friends and family. We had to see the new Star Wars movie, played some video games at the local arcade, and have just been chilling out. But one of the things that I thought of in the back of my head, this is the time of year where my views go up a little bit, and I start getting new people to the channel because it's Christmas. Christmas just passed, and I think a lot of people probably get these models as Christmas gifts, as stocking stuffers. They would make good stocking stuffers, and friends and family get these models for their friends and family. And they open up for the first time, and they go, you know, how do I do this? They start looking on YouTube, and they find my channel. So I thought, Something that would be really good to do this time of year and probably would have been good to prepare this ahead of time, but this didn't occur to me until like a day or two before Christmas. Just put together a simple little video for people who are just now getting into 3D metal models. Maybe they've got their first kit. Because I've got hundreds of videos, I think, at this point. And I've got all kinds of videos about tools, tips, and tricks. But it been a while since I've done a tool video and all the tool videos talk about something new that I've got or something that I've changed or something that I've added. Let's go back to the basics. So if you are just now getting your Metal Earth model or 3D Metal model and you're just starting on this venture, somebody got you one for a gift or a present or whatever, or you maybe you got one for yourself because it looked neat and you're wondering where do I start? Well, one of the questions I get, I've been getting a lot just here lately, is about tools. Originally, when the Metal Earth models came out, they talked like no tools required except for maybe some tweezers. And for some models, that's pretty much true. You can build these models with just a pair of tweezers or pliers, some of them. As you get into the more complicated models, it really, really, really helps to have more, more tools to help you shape the parts. But to get started, what I would recommend is a bare minimum is a pair of tweezers. These are the ones that I've been using for quite some time now. These actually came in a Iconics kit. Though the newer Iconics models no longer include tweezers, it's a very basic set. It's a little bit more than the ones you would get at like your drugstore or Dollar Tree. It's a little, they're a little bit thicker and a little bit tougher and I would recommend spending a little bit more money than just something at the Dollar Tree and get something that's kind of thick. I like that these have an angled tip on them because the I can use that end tip to grab small pieces, but then I have the wider bit that I can grab larger pieces. You can do a lot of shaping, bending, folding, and twisting tabs with just a decent pair of tweezers. The other thing that I highly recommend you get is some kind of clippers to clip the parts out of the metal sheets. And this is a Play-Doh brand clippers. I got them off of AliExpress. I've gone through multiple clippers over the years. A lot of them just wear out. Honestly, I've built over 200 models at this point. I'm getting closer and closer to 300. So it's it's been a trial and error finding a set that works for me. I really like this. I'm surprised at how well these work. I've used everything from cheap plastic ones from AliExpress to the Metal Earth set, which the Metal Earth set, Metal Earth has a set of three tools. I no longer have them because I've worn them out. But they have a set of clippers, pliers, and long nose and flat nose pliers they come in a set and the clippers for them are really good they work excellently because it's hard to find a small enough tip to get into those areas but after something like 50 or 100 builds they broke in two places so but the thing is you want to get some kind of flush clippers or even possibly on the cheaper end of things I've got some nail clippers here and these aren't your quite your standard they have a little bit of an angle tip to them and these will work. They will work to get you started at the very least and these were about $10 at Walmart. So you could potentially use something as simple as nail clippers if you have ones that come to a point so you can get into areas. You can, if you know, you have worked on models like plastic models, AMT and Ertl and stuff like that and you have the clippers that cut the parts off the spruce or the tree. Those might work if they're tough and, and uh, sharp enough. They might work, but some sort of clippers to get the parts out. You can bend and flex them and twist and break the tabs or pieces that hold the parts in. I don't recommend that, 
because you run the risk of flexing and bending and breaking the part itself or another part on that sheet. So I highly recommend something, even if it's just a pair of nail clippers, to clip the parts out to work with them. And you're really going to get a lot farther if you have at least a pair of decent tweezers. But if you're really serious about it, we can move beyond that. Actually, before I move too far beyond that, I forgot that while I did originally or break the original set of tools that I got from Fascinations, I did acquire another set from Fascinations to do some classes with. So these are the clippers that come with the Fascinations three-piece tool set. These are the long nose pliers and these are the flat nose pliers. This is a new set. It's been broken apart as in taken out of the package that Metal Arts sent to me to help with some of the classes that I was doing. Out of the three set, I still have my flat nose pliers. These are the flat nose pliers that I bought probably three years ago. They're still going strong. However, the needle nose pliers kind of warped after a while and don't hold the part as well as I'd like to. And these clippers, the spring broke and then the tip broke. And then I just kind of gave up on them. But if you're interested in getting the Metal Earth set, it's not a bad set to get and it does include a lot of tools to get you going. However, you could piece together your own set. I can't really say that I know a place to get a set of flat nose pliers, but they're helpful to have. You can fairly easily cut, find some flush cutters, even at your local hobby store in the jewelry making section, or long nose pliers are easy to find on Amazon, even AliExpress. I think this set actually come from Amazon. Long nose pliers are really helpful for bending long parts. Flat nose pliers can be helpful for particular areas, but it, it will help to get some sort of plier set for some of the larger things. One of my other very favorite things to have for building Metal Earth models is this set of precision tweezers that I have here. This is a Pixnor set. And once upon a time, you could actually see the name on the tweezers. You might be able to make it out. There's like a remnant of the name, but for the most part, the paint's been rubbed off because I have used these a lot. Now, I originally bought a, I think it was a seven piece set, and I'm gonna put links in the description down below of some of these things, including this Pixnor set. The Pixnor set was originally sold in like a seven piece set. I bought all seven. I only really used three out of it. There are two kind of needlish end tweezers. If you'll notice, one of these two is not quite as pointed. I took this and touched it to a grinding wheel for a couple of seconds to flatten it out. This one is amazing for grabbing tabs in tight areas and twisting them. You have to put a lot of pressure on them and aim carefully, but they're very, very handy. And then we have this set here, that, or this one here that came in the set that doesn't have the point. It's more of a flat. I find these three very, 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 very useful in my builds. I think you might be able to find sets now that don't include all of them but I think it was like $15 when I got it and I don't regret it at all. Plus you'll have some backups if something goes wrong with one set. You'll have more than one or maybe if you have a friend that's into the hobby, you can get the full set. I'll put a link to the original set or at least as close as I can find on Amazon down below as well as a link to the Fascinations tool set. And if I can find an Amazon link to these Play-Doh because I think I got these on AliExpress, I'll put a link to that as well. Now with building these models, you're gonna find yourself having to make circular shapes and dome shapes and cone shapes. And you, the first thing that anybody who builds these models does is start looking for things around their house to help make those shapes. You can use pencils, you can use pins. I've used paintbrushes, especially paintbrushes that had a taper to them. I've used knitting needles from time to time to shape like wheels and to shape tapered shapes. I've even taken wooden dowel rods and sharpened them in a pencil sharper to help make comb shapes. And that'll get you a long way. So if you're just getting started, a pair of decent tweezers, some clippers, and look around your house for things to help make shapes. When it comes to making cone and dome shapes, I've used marbles before for making dome shapes. Admittedly, the marbles are hard to hold on to. And I have used, I have actually gotten to the point where I have 3D printed tools with dome shapes on the end, so I have more to hold on to. But just getting started, tweezers, some sort of clippers to get the parts off the sheet and just look around your house for things to use. I even heard of someone using a spoon to shape the saucer section of the Enterprise D, which I wish I would have thought of when I built that model. Now, as I've said, I've got a lot of videos on building these models. I've got videos on different tools that I use. Feel free to go and check those videos out. 
there's a decent halfway decent chance that I'm gonna have a video on one of the models that you've built although I haven't built them all so there there are a lot out there and I'm always working on adding more but there are other resources available to you if you're wanting to know more and get more help from others for making these models the Metal Earth subreddit is a great place to go if you have a reddit account just look for Metal Earth even if it's not a Metal Earth model they started it kind of I think based on the Metal Earth models but they also cover anything 3D metal model, like Peace Cool, Tenyo, Micro World, MU, so on and so on. P Picture Kingdom. There, there's a lot of stuff out there, and the people in that community are very, very helpful. If you have a Facebook account, there are at least two, probably more, Metal Earth or 3D metal model communities out there that you can possibly join and get help. One of the wonderful things about this hobby, if you becomes a hobby for you and there's a very big danger of that I should warn you people either like it or love it or love it or hate it and the people that love it they make this wonderful very helpful community and every community that I've been a part of has been nothing but helpful and it's been amazing so I'll try to put a link to the or I will put a link to the Metal Earth subreddit and possibly one of the Facebook groups out there I know there's at least two there's possibly more there's also other YouTube channels that you can check out, one of which is Disorderly Cone has a YouTube channel called Groove Builders, where he does 3D metal models like Metal Earth and Peace Cool, as well as other things. He can give you some helpful tips and tricks as well. He does his own videos. There's also a blog out there if you're more into reading than watching videos. A good friend of mine, Code Wookie, has put together MetalEarthBuilder.com where he does a blog on a lot of the same Metal Earth models I do, as well as other like Peace School models and such. He has a lot of tips on there, blog uh, entries about tools and tricks, and if you really get into collecting, he has kept a really good track of all the unique models and exclusive models out there. Wonderful resource, even for me, when I'm putting together a weekly news video, is to talk with CodeWookie and see, you know, what have you seen that I haven't seen? Because he's really good at organizing all this stuff. Again, I'll put some links into the description and down below to get you started. Because there is a lot of resources out there. It's kind of a niche thing. Still, though, there are a lot of people out there that really enjoy these models and enjoy helping others. I've shown you some basic tools. There's a lot more to it. Again, I've got videos on that. I've used dowel rods in the past. I've used, still used drill bits sometimes. There's step mandrels out there that you might find really, really helpful. I've got a couple of step mandrels right here. You can easily find these in a craft store, jewelry making section, or even on Amazon. Again, they're called step mandrels. They're fairly inexpensive. Will come in really handy for shaping a lot of wheel parts if you're into doing, say, vehicles, tanks, cars, trucks, stuff like that. A sharpened dowel rod will come in handy if you want to build your tool set beyond that. I've even gone so far as to getting a sculpting set that has a lot of weird shaped tools and like dental hooks to help pull and push and shape parts and bend things from the inside. There's just so many things you can do. I've even gone to the point of 3D printing my own tools. I've got a few cone shaping tools that I've 3D printed here, different sizes for making thrusters and for making barrel shaped things for the larger cone shaped pieces. I've even got a combo tool here. I've got a, mentioned this earlier, a dome shaping tool. Rather than trying to hold on to a marble, I've got something that fits in your hand. has several different sizes to choose from, and you can shape dome shapes, like that bottom dome piece on the, on the bottom of a Star Destroyer, or <clears throat> I remember making Iron Man, and the shoulder pieces are very kind of clamshell dome shaped, and at the time I didn't have this, and I wished I did. And so brainstorming, trying to think what else would I want to mention to somebody who's new to 3D metal models, somebody who's maybe built one or two, and they really enjoy it and they want to move on. At least here in the United States, the big one is Metal Earth. Metal Earth, or e metal Earth models are easy to get in the U.S., though. If you look around online, you can find what you could call copycats of Metal Earth models that are cheaper, but beware. A lot of those places, AliExpress has them, eBay is full of them. If they are not Metal Earth or if their price is significantly cheaper, where say for instance the Metal Earth version is $10 to $12 and the eBay price or AliExpress price is 3 to $4, be very wary of that. There's a lot of knockoff models that look pretty much the same and they'll have a lot of the same builds but the metal quality will be quite, quite less. It'd be quite a lot less de um, quality to the metal. 
and those knockoffs can sometimes be very unforgiving if you make mistakes. Now the Metal Earth models themselves are kind of unforgiving. You don't want to bend apart any more than you have to. You definitely want to look ahead in the instructions to see where you're going and try to avoid bending parts the wrong way because if some situations if you bend it the wrong way and then the right way it can overflex it and break the part. The good news with Metal Earth especially if you're early and new to this and you break apart you can contact Metal Earth and they are really good about getting you replacement parts. I wouldn't abuse that system. I don't know how far they will go as far as providing parts, but if you're new to it, everybody makes mistakes, and there is a little bit of a learning curve as far as being careful not to break the metal, and there are occasions where the metal just isn't right. Not terribly wrong, but I have had, built after 100 some models, I've had that one model that just broke really easily, and Metal Earth is good about replacing those parts at least to a point whereas if you get the three dollar four dollar model off of ebay and it comes from china and you break apart which most of those models break easier that's too bad so sad you're gonna have to buy another one and so part of it is you're paying more for that customer support but part of it's you're paying more for better better quality metal and a better quality model as well as often better quality instructions. A lot of the instructions on those knockoff kits will just be Xeroxed and not even all that well. And some of the ones that are not even copycats, that they're unique to those inexpensive companies, and I'm not going to name names, are just so terribly designed, <clears throat> Beretta, that you just don't even want to bother. But if you're getting in the hobby, be careful, be wary about something that's much cheaper you might end up regretting it. There are some people that enjoy the challenge and like the cheaper models, but be very, very wary. I suggest staying with like Metal Earth models, Peace Cool, Tenyo. Those are some of the big names. Micro World is pretty good, but they can be sometimes sketchy. MU is really good. They have a lot of very large models, and most of their models are really good quality. Micro World is pretty good. Some of it can be sketchy, but things like Peace Cool and no named ones you you really will notice the difference in price they'll be a lot cheaper than something comparable to them and you really want to watch out for that where do i get the models i've, I've got one for christmas and i really liked it where do i get more well online is one of the most obvious choices you can find a lot of metal earth models on amazon you can find some peace cool and some other brands on amazon you can find a lot of stuff on ebay again be careful which ones you get as far as in stores ac more used to be a good place although ac more is on their way out if you have an AC more nearby, you might be able to find some on clearance, but not for long. Hobby Lobby tends to carry a small selection of models if you have a Hobby Lobby near you. Places like Books A Million have some models. Hobby Town, I've never actually been to a Hobby Town, but I understand they have some models. Barnes & Noble has a few models in, in their stores, usually in a box instead of a hanging package. It's different packaging, but the same models sometimes. Uh, Barnes and Noble will have two or three models in a in a box together. If you're a member of whatever club that they have, you might be able to get some good deals on it that way. You can find them out there in some bookstores and some hobby stores, but it's it's kind of hit and miss, and it changes by area. But the easiest places, Innova Toys. Innova Toys is a great place to get Metal Earth models. They are connected with Fascinations or Metal Earth that makes the models, and they have I think free shipping on pretty much anything there really great place to get the models there are a few other online stores that have come and gone but ebay can be a good place to get models that are store exclusives and disney exclusives yes disney stores has a lot of models that you can only get at disney or ebay at a little bit of a markup aliexpress is another decent place to get models if you're looking for stuff outside of metal earth peace cool models which are pretty much the same as metal earth models they're parent company is the same get a lot of peace cool models on aliexpress again be careful what shop you're getting from and that the model is actually peace cool and not a knockoff you're going to pay a little bit more but you're going to get a much better quality model if you get the peace cool or metal earth micro again micro world mu and picture kingdom are good models you can find all those on different aliexpress stores probably one of the favorite stores that I've ever I've used and I know a lot of people on the Metal Earth subreddit have used it is Crazy Toys. Crazy Toys also has their own website at crazytoys.co.uk. There's a really good source. There are a few other stores on AliExpress and I frequently post links to the stores that I use in my weekly news video if you pay attention to that. 
you'll find some links to some AliExpress stores that I use in there as well. I hesitate to endorse a whole bunch of different stores because things change. I'm not being paid for these endorsements, just trying to share the information. But again, if you want to find out more, Metal Earth subreddit is a great place to go. Asking others on Facebook if you can find one of the groups of people that build these models. Great place, a great resource for people to share where they get their models, experiences they have. Definitely ask around before you buy something from so-and-so's AliExpress or go in one of those communities and ask. Does anybody else have experience with this place? And what am I in for? Is it a good place to order from? Is this a good model? Feel free to ask. People like to help. There's lots of resources available for you out there. I could go on and on, but I'm going to try not to overdo it and leave it at that. I want to say, if you're finding this video because you've just got a 3D metal model such as Metal Earth, welcome to the Metal Earth family. I do hope you enjoy it. Feel free to ask questions in the comments down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you when I can. Definitely check out some of the resources I mentioned down in the description down below because there are a lot of helpful people out there. I am constantly trying to build more models and add more videos to the channel, so keep an eye out. And I guess I'll see you next time. As always, thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on.